guys and welcome to a very special mod installation tutorial. Again I'll be covering the um, Recruits and Suits, Suits and Sack mod pack, but it's beta 3 of it now so we've uh, got some experience with it. A uh, few revisions have gone by and I've uh, heard your worries and troubles about it and your quest for more mods and so all those things have now been implemented. So, let's get started. Um, so, for those of you that don't know, this mod pack is, in my opinion, the easiest possible way to install mods. And so I'm going to try to be including more and more mods into it. They're always updated to the latest version. And I'm, I plan to actually make a separate one that auto installs it for uh, servers as well, for bucket and for non bucket ones, which will just be so awesome. And I really hope that until Notch makes a modding API, uh, this sort of catches on. And I hope that uh, this sort of gets out there because a traditional mod installation it isn't user friendly at all. So, let's get started. I'm going to be covering the installation process on PC as well as Mac because quite a few people had some problems with Win WinRAR. They were unarchiving it and blah 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 blah. And I don't want anyone to have any troubles. So, let's get started. As before, uh, you go to the Wikimedia.com website and you go over here to the mod pack button at the very right and you're here now and you scroll down and you see that uh, there's a download link here um, currently it's in beta 3 I'll probably be up, uh, adding more videos as new features get added but uh, this will always be the latest download so you click here and you wait five seconds or so uh, just to support the mod creators which create these amazing mods and then you uh, click skip add and then you go view and view actually stands for download I don't know why they called it that um, so now I'm just waiting for it to finish downloading there we go so I'll go into my downloads folder now and we have this nice zip file so all I'm gonna do it on Mac now and I'll do it in PC in just two seconds. So if you want it if you want to see it on PC, click the annotation that's on the screen right now. Anyway, let's get started. So double click right here. And uh if you have some weird other unarchiving programs, um, you can use those as well. Like I, sometimes I have to use I unarchive for certain things, or the unarchiver. But I highly suggest right now that you use the archive utility because I know it works. So it'll give you this folder here, and if you double click to go into the folder, you see you have all these files. But really, you don't have to worry about any of the files except these two, or these three, and the credits if you want to know who made what mod and where to find the thread for it. Um, so, you don't have to look into the mods folder, that's just all the source files for the mods so that the installer can uh, do everything for you. Uh, so, first of all, I'm going to open up my Minecraft not even open it up all the way. So here we have the Minecraft launcher and you want to go options force update done login. <laughs> now while this will remove all of your previous mods um, I highly suggest you do this because quite a few people were getting errors and that's not good because it sort of confuses um, everybody. So please be aware that you're going to lose your mods when you do that. You can always back up your uh, .minecraft folder, but I won't tell you how to do that. You can figure that out for yourself. Um, so now you can go to the suits and 
insect mod pack installer dot jar so just double click it and it'll say da, 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 and you click open and it'll open the awesome sheets in sac mod pack installer uh, currently beta 3 and you can read all this it's not really important it's basically just saying that you should uh, force update um, so click next and now unlike before there's mods here that you can choose from so um, the planes mod will be installed either way so this uh, adds compatibility for sure for our server but we decided <laughs> well lots of you wanted other mods as well so um, here they are uh, if you want to request some more mods to be added I'll gladly do that just ask in the comments below so I'm gonna say let's do too many items because it's so handy dandy uh, vehicles um, moods I'll here I'll just do all of them now I'll click next and it'll install them all perfectly well and now it's done so that's it I'll just run my minecraft to show you guys log in and uh, you might have caught that little thing there I won't spoil it uh, if you can go back in like two seconds to see what it was um, there's a little difference on the splash um, so there we go see there's tons of new stuff already so <laughs> that was probably the easiest mod installation um, process you could ever have uh, two seconds and you have so many great mods that you could choose from um, so now I have too many items all good um, I think there's lots of new stuff. German weapon box, for example, if I were to place that. Yeah, I don't have the mats to craft this, but all of these mods are already installed so quickly. Diesel fuel for the um, trains, just everything's done so quickly. So, let's head over to the Windows uh, installation. So I'll, I won't cut, I'll just uh, close this and behind hidden pages we have windows. <laughs> so um, in our downloads folder, which is currently empty, which is bad, so I'll just quickly re-download. Uh, uh, oops. There we go. Um, Sorry about that guys, I thought it would appear in the downloads folder, but it's so quick to download it doesn't really matter. So a lot of people are having, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of people were having troubles with um, the Windows installation because, I mean it is a little bit different, but mostly the problems were surrounded by um, people not unzipping all the files. Uh, when they were trying to run so I'm just going to save the pack right now see the files were there what's up with that okay so here we go just refresh oh I'll delete that because we don't want it so here's a zip just as if you had just downloaded it and I'm going to open it with Windows Explorer because that's this is what it would um, appear as if you don't have WinRAR um, so there's a Mac OS X folder which you can totally ignore that's just there because I, I zipped it uh, using Mac and so it sort of just throws that folder in there ignore it and go to the suit and fat La, la, la. Sorry about that. <laughs> Suits in SAG mod pack folder. And there's a few extra files here, like the DS store. You can just ignore that. And um, so some of you were going and double clicking this uh, or in opening it, but you can't do that. 
you have to go extract all files extract um, and then say yes to all this so you have to extract all the items and then run it otherwise it will give you errors saying that not all the files are there because that's just how it is um, so you have to extract it and then you can run it and uh, I don't have, this is on a parallels thing so I don't actually have Java installed but uh, if you have any other icon other than the Java icon here or if there's a WinRAR one um, then that's a bad thing so if it when you double click it it opens something like this this is all the source code that we have for the installer um, so that you don't want that you want to if that's the default to open it with another program you want to go open with and then um, uh, it sh should be Java runtime installer or Java runtime something so you want to open it with that um, now let's say you were gonna unzip this with win win no, no, I can't speak right now WinRAR so you double click this like normal and you go into this folder um, and again you have to extract to you can't run it from within here so you gotta pick a folder to extract it to it doesn't matter where as long as all the files are extracted and I highly suggest that you tick this box here uh, display files and explore and then save those settings because it'll just make your life a lot easier and it'll open the folder that I extracted everything to and then you can um, open it with the runtime again so <laughs> and the, the program works the exact same um, so there you have it it's that easy to do just installing mods like this is the future guys um, one last thing if you don't want the mods anymore you, and uh, or you got an error and you go to the inst uninstaller and you're trying to click this and let's say you're having errors because I knew some people were having errors you can always go to your minecraft launcher and go options force update done login like you did before you installed the mod pack so um, I always get people saying that I broke the minecraft and I might have but it's so easy to fix if anything goes wrong so now it's vanilla and there's no more mods I'll just show you for example see no more no more anything there's no too many items it's just normal vanilla so I hope you enjoy this mod pack <laughs> please uh, rate the video if this helped you if not or you're having troubles just leave a comment or PM me or send me an email I'm so easy to um, reach and uh, leave your suggestions for what other mods I should add so see you guys next time on recruits in suits or something else bye